Okay guys, a two minute, two ounce cleaning and disassembly of your gun, okay? This is a real dirty gun that I just finished using. This is a container that I'm gonna put my thinned lacquer into. Open the cap, dump out your material. This was a clear lacquer that we were spraying. Now the other thing you need to do is pull the trigger and release that into the container. Make sure that all the fluid down around the strainer and filter inside the gun is out before you try to thin it. And from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two ounces of clean thinner in the gun and spray that through. Okay, so just two ounces of thinner in the cup. Even the lacquer thinner gets strained as it goes into the cup. Okay, we ran the two ounces of thinner through the gun. And as I did so, I kind of turned it upside down and splashed a little bit of thinner inside the cup to clean the cup. And that was it on that. Remove the cup with a wrench. Never try to torque on the plastic part of the cup. And just dunk the threads, okay? Dunk the top of the threads. Dunk the bottom threads. And that's it. Put the cup aside to dry. Internal filter, okay? Got it right there. Internal filter goes into your lacquer thinner. Take the needle out from the back side of the gun. Fluid control knob and spring come out. Squeeze the trigger. Remove the needle and rinse that in the thinner, okay? Then and only then can you remove the air cap, okay? It's a two-piece air cap. So what needs to go in is the air cap with the size on it. That needs to go in the container to soak. The ring, rinse it off to make sure the threads are clean. Set that aside to dry, okay? Now, now your nozzle can come out. Okay, this is a key part of the system. So that nozzle goes in the thinner to soak. Air diffuser, that goes in to soak. There's two seals. Air diffuser seal, we're gonna rinse off. And set that out to dry. Okay, and then we've got the air divider inside, okay, with its own little seal. Same thing there, we're gonna just rinse. Just rinse the divider seal. Okay, and set that aside to dry. The air divider, set that into soak, okay? And then the front of the gun needs to be dunked in thinner, just this area here, and then the fluid inlet port where the gun cap normally, where the cup normally sits, okay? Just dunk that for a second. And that's it. Only other thing you need to do is assemble the gun and wipe it down with a little thinner. Two minutes, two ounces, and you're on your way. Okay, let's put the gun back together. Air divider with the hole in the 12 o'clock position. Air divider seal goes right on the front there. Okay, next comes the air diffuser with its seal on the back side. Okay, little pin goes in the 12 o'clock position and it registers in with the air divider. You shouldn't be able to rotate that once you have it assembled this far. And then you can put your nozzle of choice, 1.0 millimeter in this case. Snug it down firm. Okay. Matching air cap set and ring. Clean filter. Cup. Use the wrench, don't crank on the plastic. Lid. A little dab right towards the front end of the needle there. Squeeze the trigger to install the needle. Press that all the way in, okay? Then the spring and fluid control knob can be reinstalled. My standard is to thread that all the way in clockwise and then back it out five half turns. One, 
two, three, four, five. That's a great place to start. You can always dial it in from there. There you go, guys. Two minutes, two ounces, it's all you need for a spray gun that'll work reliably time and time again.